the sky is no longer the limit when you're aiming for the stars in a groundbreaking move. Senegal has catapulted itself into a new era, shifting its focus to join the African space race. On a recent Friday, Senegal achieved a monumental milestone with the successful launch of its first satellite, GAT-1A, into orbit. This landmark event not only marked Senegal's entry into the exclusive club of spacefaring nations, but also signals a significant shift in Africa's technological ambitions and capabilities. In a world increasingly dominated by technology and data, the control of satellites also means control of narratives. For Senegal, entering the space race was about more than just launching a piece of metal into orbit, it was about asserting its sovereignty and independence in the 21st century. The president, Macky Sall, articulated this vision clearly, stating that the satellite launch was a major step towards technological sovereignty. The motivations behind this bold move are rooted in a desire to address critical domestic needs. The GAT-1 a satellite is set to provide valuable data for water resources management, civil aviation, meteorology, and more. These capabilities will empower Senegal to better manage its natural resources, predict weather patterns more accurately, and enhance its national security in a region where climate change poses a significant threat. Having the ability to monitor environmental conditions and respond proactively is not just a luxury, but a necessity. Moreover, this launch symbolizes a strategic pivot towards future-proofing the nation by investing in space technology. Senegal is not just playing catch-up with the world, it is preparing for a future where space-based data and technology will be as fundamental to national development as agriculture or infrastructure. This is about laying the groundwork for economic development and sustainable growth, as space technology is rapidly becoming a cornerstone for national development strategies worldwide. The timing of this launch is also significant, as it comes at a time when Africa as a continent is increasingly looking to leverage technology to solve its unique challenges, from climate change to food security. The need for reliable data has never been more critical, and by developing its space capabilities, Senegal is taking a proactive stance in addressing these challenges, positioning itself as a leader in African innovation. The road to space, however, is never smooth, and for Senegal, it was filled with challenges technical, financial, and logistical. The journey began in 2019 when the idea of a national space program was first floated, with the initial launch planned for 2021. But like many grand ventures, it faced delays, with the global COVID-19 pandemic pushing the schedule back to 2023 and further delays bringing it to 2024. Despite these setbacks, Senegal's determination never wavered. The government formed strategic partnerships with international allies, including the French Guiana Space Center, to gain the expertise needed. Senegalese engineers were trained rigorously, and technology transfer was prioritized to ensure that the knowledge and skills stayed within the country. This was not just a technological action, but also a learning curve for the nation a steep one, but one that was surmounted with sheer will and a collaborative spirit. The collaborative effort extended beyond Senegal's borders, as partnerships with international organizations, universities, and space agencies were essential. These alliances provided not only technical expertise, but also financial support, which was crucial given the high costs associated with space technology. By fostering these partnerships, Senegal was able to build a robust program that could stand up to the rigorous demands of space exploration. Moreover, international collaboration allowed Senegal to learn from the experiences of other nations that had embarked on similar journeys. Knowledge-sharing workshops, joint research initiatives, and internships for Senegalese engineers at leading space research institutions became regular features of this partnership. These efforts ensured that the knowledge and skills necessary to build and operate a satellite were effectively transferred to Senegal's workforce. Financing was another significant hurdle, as space exploration is notoriously expensive. Senegal navigated this by mobilizing both public and private funds, showcasing a model of innovation through public-private partnerships. The involvement of international stakeholders, such as SpaceX, who provided the Falcon 9 rocket for the launch, was also crucial in overcoming logistical and financial barriers. 
Additionally, Senegal's government demonstrated its commitment by allocating a portion of its budget to this ambitious project, reflecting a political will to prioritize technological advancement and innovation. The government's commitment to this project was evident in the formation of the Senegalese Space Agency Senate, which spearheaded the project and was instrumental in coordinating efforts, securing funding, and managing the logistical aspects of the launch. In terms of logistics, the challenges of coordinating a launch from halfway across the world cannot be understated. The satellite was built in Senegal but had to be transported to the United States for the launch, requiring meticulous planning and coordination between multiple stakeholders, including customs officials, transport companies, and international space agencies. It was a complex operation that required precision timing and flawless execution. Senegal's successful launch has far-reaching implications for the broader African context. It is not just a win for the country, but a triumph for the entire continent. As of early 2024, 15 African countries had launched 59 satellites into orbit, and the continent's collective goal is to develop 125 new satellites by 2025, underscoring a strategic pivot towards space as a frontier for growth, innovation, and development. Senegal's success adds to a growing list of African achievements in space, with countries like South Africa, Egypt, Nigeria, and Kenya paving the way and demonstrating that space is not an exclusive domain of the traditional superpowers. Africa's involvement in space is crucial for several reasons. It promotes regional cooperation, stimulates technological innovation, and addresses local challenges with locally developed solutions. Furthermore, this marks a shift in perception Africa is not just a recipient of aid or a consumer of technology, but a creator, a builder, and an innovator. The space race has provided a platform for African countries to showcase their capabilities and ambitions on a global stage. By investing in space technology, African nations are positioning themselves as equal partners in a global dialogue on technology and innovation. Senegal's entry into the space race is also significant because it represents a step toward greater regional integration. The African Union has been advocating for greater collaboration among African countries in space technology through initiatives like the African Space Policy and Strategy. By pooling resources and sharing expertise, African nations can reduce costs and increase their collective bargaining power on the global stage. The ripple effects of Senegal's achievement will likely encourage other African nations to invest in their space programs. Countries like Ghana, Rwanda, and Ethiopia have already announced plans to launch their satellites, and Senegal's success will undoubtedly inspire more to follow. This launch of Senegal's first satellite, Gaston 1A, extends far beyond mere symbolism, it represents a strategic shift in how African nations perceive their roles on the global stage. No longer content with being on the receiving end of technological advancements, African countries are now at the forefront, driving change and innovation. This is evident in the increasing number of space agencies being established across the continent, as well as the growing investment in STEM education and research. As Gaston 1A orbits the Earth, the practical applications of this milestone achievement become increasingly clear. The satellite, equipped with state-of-the-art technology, will provide critical data to various sectors, offering tangible progress for Senegal and the African continent as a whole. In the realm of water resource management, Gaston 1 will offer detailed information on water bodies, helping to manage this vital resource more effectively in a region prone to both droughts and floods. In the field of meteorology, the satellite will enhance weather prediction capabilities, allowing for better preparation and response to natural disasters, a critical function in an era marked by the impacts of climate change. Gaston 1 it will also support Senegal's National Civil Aviation and Meteorology Agency, providing crucial data to improve air traffic safety and efficiency. The satellite's impact will extend to the agricultural sector, where it will help monitor crop conditions, predict yields, and manage pests, invaluable insights for a nation where agriculture plays a key role in the economy. Additionally, Gaston 1 will contribute to environmental conservation efforts by monitoring deforestation and land use changes, aligning with Senegal's commitment to sustainability and climate action. Beyond these immediate benefits, Gaston 1A will play a crucial role in Senegal's broader economic development strategy. 
by providing reliable data for urban planning, infrastructure development, and disaster management, the satellite will enable more informed decision-making at both the local and national levels. This, in turn, will attract foreign investment and stimulate economic growth, as reliable data is a key driver for reducing risks and increasing transparency for potential investors. The launch of Gaston One has also sparked a renewed interest in STEM education among Senegal's youth. Schools and universities are incorporating more space-based science into their curricula, inspiring the next generation of scientists and engineers. This focus on education and skills development is crucial for ensuring that Senegal continues to build on this success and remains a key player in the global space industry. With more young minds drawn to STEM fields, Senegal can expect a future workforce that is not only skilled but also innovative and capable of leading the country into new technological frontiers. In the realm of security, Gaston 1A will enhance Senegal's capabilities in surveillance and border control. With increasing security challenges in the Sahel region, having a satellite that can monitor movement across borders and provide real-time data is a significant advantage. This capability will enhance national security and contribute to regional stability, further solidifying Senegal's role as a leader in the African space landscape. Senegal's successful launch is just the beginning of a new chapter. The nation plans to develop a comprehensive space program that will focus on satellite development, data analytics, and possibly, in the future, space exploration. This program aims to foster a new generation of engineers, scientists, and innovators who will lead Senegal into a new era of technological advancement. For Africa as a whole, the success of Senegal is a call to action. The African Union has been working on a continental space policy to coordinate efforts across nations, enhance cooperation, and ensure that Africa speaks with one voice in global space forums. The goal is to harness the power of space to drive economic growth, enhance regional security, and solve pressing challenges unique to the continent. As African countries continue to launch satellites and develop space technology, the continent is positioning itself as a significant player in the global space race. With the African space industry projected to reach $22.64 billion by 2025, the opportunities are immense. This is a future where African innovation, collaboration, and ambition will redefine the possibilities of space exploration. However, the spirit of collaboration and partnership that has characterized Africa's entry into space will continue to be its greatest strength. By working together, African nations can pull their resources, share knowledge, and build a robust space industry that benefits the entire continent. This collective ambition is setting the stage for a new era of African leadership in global space affairs. Looking ahead, the focus will be on developing indigenous capabilities. This includes building local expertise in satellite design, manufacturing, and launch services. By doing so, Africa will not only reduce its dependence on foreign technology but also create jobs, stimulate economic growth, and drive technological innovation across the continent. Moreover, there is a growing recognition that space technology can play a pivotal role in achieving the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, from climate action to quality education. The data and insights derived from satellite technology can help African countries make more informed decisions and implement effective policies, further underscoring the importance of space exploration for the continent. Senegal's leap into space is a testament to the spirit of African innovation, resilience, and ambition. As Gaston 1A orbits the Earth, it carries with it the hopes and dreams of a continent ready to explore new frontiers. This is not just a moment of national pride, but a pivotal step for Africa, showing the world that we are not just rising, we are launching into the stars, into the future, in a new era of African sovereignty in space. The sky is no longer the limit for Africa. With each satellite launched, we are not just charting a course through the cosmos, but redefining our destiny here on Earth. And as we reach for the stars, we do so with the unshakable belief that Africa's time is now. In the end, we must ask what image this achievement will make of Africa. As we reflect on Senegal's remarkable accomplishment, it's important to consider the broader implications for the continent's socio-economic landscape. 
The satellite launch is not just a technological feat, but a catalyst for a paradigm shift in how Africa engages with the world. By investing in space technology, African nations are demonstrating a commitment to self-reliance and innovation, signaling to the world that Africa is ready to be a leader in the digital age. This new era of African space exploration is also about creating new narratives. For too long, Africa has been portrayed in a limited light, often as a continent in need. But with every satellite launched and every piece of technology developed, Africa is telling a different story, a story of resilience, of innovation, and of a continent that is no longer content with being on the periphery of global developments, but is actively shaping the future. The space race is also about inspiring the next generation. The sight of Senegal's satellite orbiting the Earth is more than just a technical accomplishment, it's a powerful symbol for young Africans across the continent. It shows them that with determination, collaboration, and a vision for the future, anything is possible. It encourages them to dream big, to aspire to careers in science and technology, and to believe that they, too, can reach for the stars. Senegal's entry into the space race is a defining moment for Africa. It's a bold statement of intent, a clear signal that Africa is ready to lead, innovate, and explore. As more African nations strengthen their presence in space exploration, the question arises, could this mean that Africa will dominate the space sector in the future? While the road ahead may not be without challenges, the spirit of collaboration and partnership that has characterized Africa's entry into space will continue to be its greatest strength. By working together, African nations can pull their resources, share knowledge, and build a robust space industry that benefits the entire continent. The future is bright for Africa's space ambitions. With each satellite launched, the continent is charting a new course, one that redefines the possibilities of space exploration and the role of Africa in the global arena. As we gaze upon Gaston 1 as soaring through the heavens, let us be reminded that the sky is no longer the limit, for Africa, the future is in the stars. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as well as a sub so more people can see this.